Meow, right meow. Right meow. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, 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 meow. Did you hear what I was singing yesterday on the moped? Yeah, that one. Meow, meow, meow. Do you meow, know meow. it though? No. It's meow mix. No words? Meow, 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 I learned that from Austin Powers. <laughs> Dr. Evil is seen. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he does, yeah. <laughs> you ready? Biggles yeah. work. You ready? Mm. Mike, 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 Mike. Yep. Okay. Three, two, one. And here we go. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the channel. My name is Samrak. I'm Geneva. And I'm Zara. We have another Conan bit in front of us here. Mm -hmm. uh, we've seen requests for this. It's Conan and Jordan Slansky. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, mm -hmm. but we've had a few, uh, you know, requests, recommendations. Yeah, we want a Conan kick right now. Yeah, we want a Conan kick, and so in looking it up, there's a bunch of bit with Conan and this. Uh, Jordan Slansky individual. <laughs> so. And who is this man? I don't we'll know. The, name, okay. the name doesn't sound familiar. Not really yeah. here. Okay, new for all of us. Yeah, so this is somebody new. I don't know if it's a comedian or. Let's watch it. Yeah, and find maybe because he's done stuff with intern. Maybe it's staff members. You know, maybe it's. I don't know. Personal trainer. I don't know. But we're about to get into it because there's a bunch of them together. Okay. <laughs> so I guess they have their own little bit. <laughs> All right, we ready? Yes. Yeah. So this one in here is Conan Bust Jordan Slansky and his Elitist Espresso. <laughs> or Espresso machine has been cut off. I have no yeah. idea. Expression? I can't see. All right, so you want to get into it? Yeah. Get in! So if you do like our reaction, please like, comment, subscribe, and also hit the <laughs> notification bell. All right, let's do it. And here we go. Well, I'm sorry to say there's a bit of a controversy brewing backstage here at the Conan Show. And brewing is actually an apt term to use because it involves an espresso machine <laughs> and one Mr. Jordan Schlansky. I'm investigating this crime now, starting off with Mr. John Croteau. How are you, John? Doing great. Tell us about the espresso machine. People are saying that there's an expensive new machine and that Jordan only lets a few people have access to it. Now, Jordan loves Italy, right. and in fact, mm -hmm. may believe that he's Italian, yes. even though his last name is Schlansky. <laughs> Do you know what Jordan does on the show? Um, not really. Are you worried at all for Jordan, telling me this? No. Why? He's, he's, he's so, like, dead. He doesn't, I don't think... <laughs> 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 He's dead? You know, there's like nothing, nothing phases him. Okay, I'm headed back into Jordan Schlansky's office to confront him about this espresso machine. Uh, his office is not accessible like everyone else's. It's <laughs> hidden away. That was Jordan's choice. Let's find out why. Go through this stuff. Yay. You gotta go through here. That is so... It's like a maze. Then, That's something I would choose. You gotta go through here. That's Jordan, insane. put on a Brian here. First of all, your office is a mess. Okay? <gasps> this is disgusting. Have you been on hoarders yet? <laughs> uh, you have an espresso machine here. There is an espresso machine here. What's the difference between what you said I don't and have I said? It. Pardon I me? Don't, I don't have it. It's here. Doesn't mean I have it. What do you mean? I understand. I use it, but I don't have it. Have it implies that I own it. I don't own it. Oh, you don't own it? No, I don't own it. Who purchased the machine? You actually own it. <laughs> you purchased everything in this office. I did? Yes. Did I buy you this Italian almond biscotti? Yeah. No, that was free. This is a free biscotti? Yes, biscotto. Pardon me? It's a biscotto. Biscotti. That would be if there was more than one. There's only one. Would you take me out and show me the espresso machine, please? Yes. This is Lavazza Blue LB2312 espresso machine. The machine retails for between five and seven hundred dollars. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's an expensive machine. Yeah. Well, I suppose that's relative. There are espresso machines that cost five thousand dollars. Why didn't you go for one of those? I didn't want to spend your money needlessly. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel that you were forthcoming about the location of the machine and that everyone was welcome to use it? 
I want you to understand that it's not my responsibility to be forthcoming and to make announcements at any times. I suggest that this purchase be made. I'm not its caretaker or its wrangler. Do you think? Do you find it? Do you find it? Do you find it at all interesting that the machine is located? Let me see how many steps. <laughs> <laughs> Five, six, seven. Seven feet. Actually, a little more because I've got big feet. And ladies, do the math. <laughs> I'm noticing right now that the instructions on the machine are in Italian. Do you think that's at all off-putting to people who want to use the machine and don't speak Italian? I think you're making the assumption that I chose the display language. Furthermore, Italian is a beautiful language, and I don't see the problem with having Italian instructions on the machine. I want to be serious. So you made a decision for the group? Yes, I did. The way Mussolini made a lot of decisions oh. for his country. Another Italian who had a dream of things running smoothly. I've been very welcoming of everybody to use it, and I've tried to oh, very, use this. Very welcoming. Uh, the Fuhrer uh, <laughs> was behind fewer doors in his bunker in '45. I'm going to make that clear. I had to walk through, I believe, seven doors to get here. You could not hide a coffee machine better. If Osama bin Laden was cringing near this coffee machine, he'd be alive today, because no one would ever have found him. I take it this is the infamous oh sign, Espresso 101. You wrote these instructions? I use this as an opportunity to educate the staff, who's largely American, on what a proper Italian espresso should be. I'm noticing that you talk about United States and Americans almost with contempt. Do you realize that you're from Buffalo? Oh. You, you have a derisive tone towards these Americans. A derisive tone towards the quality of coffee served in the U.S. You hate American coffee. I've never had a sip of American coffee. You won't drink coffee in this country. I don't believe in drip root coffee. Jordan, quick question. What are your responsibilities on this show? I have various duties. My title is associate producer. It's the greatest non-answer I've ever heard. <laughs> and this is my title. Care to come clean? What is it you do? I have various production-related tasks. If you use the word various one more time, I'm adding you. <laughs> what is your job? Associate producer. What do you do when you come in to work? Uh, various from the... Uh, <laughs> very various. This is my title. You are one crafty fake Italian. <laughs> what I'm going to do is remove this machine for a period of time. And I'm going to replace it. With this coffee. machine. This is the Windmere. Wind as far as I know, it's not even a coffee company. I think they made lawnmowers until they went out of business. It's dirty. It's old. It has a simple on-off switch in English, because God bless America, you son of a bitch. And you will make your coffee. I think this is blood, by the way. I'm not sure. You will make your coffee out of this machine. That's right, drip coffee. And you will drink it for a week. Well, my investigation's complete. Sad. Punishment's Aww. been meted out. This is Conan O'Brien oh. saying this is Conan O'Brien. Saying this guy's not a problem. I like to see Jordan Slatsky and his new coffee machine, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. 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 He kept a straight face the whole time, yeah? She said he was dead in time. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if that was like... Was it acting? Was it part of his bit? I mean, you I know. I would love that. I need to know yeah. now. I need to know because that was really funny. It's it. like a jokester and a serious person yeah. together, mm -hmm. right? Dude, so, but then office there's, is deep in there. Yeah. There's a bunch of videos of them too. So we, we're going to get to know more of, yeah. uh, of Schlansky. Yeah, I want to know this too. Cause he's, <laughs> she said he's dead inside. <laughs> he laughed his ass off. The way he laughed, it seemed humble like it was true. And then... Yeah. What you've seen, I, I, I need more. I need to understand. I need to understand. <laughs> so we do have, I mean, there are a bunch of, like I said, them two on, like, doing this together. So, you know, we're looking forward. I'm looking forward to going to that one, yeah? yeah. Well, I'm yeah. looking forward to seeing if this dude's really like this. What is going on? Yeah. Here? It was a good bit, you know, yeah. with the coffee, the espresso machine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah. We're good. <laughs> So if you do like our reaction, please like, comment, subscribe. Also hit the notification Thank bell. You. See you on the next Jordan Slansky, Slansky yeah. bit. Bye. Meow, 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 meow.